So today, I'm going to make some lunch and I want some chicken wings, but I'm gonna do them a little bit different. I'm gonna actually do some grilled Caesar wings. Um, I'm gonna marinate them in some Caesar dressing, let them just chill and that stuff for the day. Um, the Caesar dressing, we're making homemade though. Um, it's the best way to do it. It's easy to do, you can adjust things how you want, and it's freaking awesome. So anyway, this is what we got going on. We have two cloves of garlic, some anchovies. We got some stone ground mustard. You can use Dijon if you want. Um, I'm using grapeseed oil. You can use avocado. You can use olive. Hell, you can use vegetable, canola, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, and then we got some, uh, we're going to do some lemon juice, some salt, and some Parmesan. The real stuff. Not that cardboard sawdust, you know what I mean? So, first off, let me uh, get a knife out of here. We're going to take uh, our garlic, give her a good mash. And we're just going to chop it up. Talk them knocks. A couple of cross actions here. Damn it, I lost a whole chunk of that shit. What's happening when you're working on the edge of your board? All right, so that right there, we're gonna leave just like so. We're gonna take some of our salt here, sprinkle it on our garlic. You can use mortar and pestle for this too. And we're gonna take our anchovies here. Oh. And we are gonna use six of these guys. These are in olive oil. Just like that. Six of them. Now we're gonna chop them right into this garlic and the salt. Give them a couple some cross action there. Put them back in a pile. Add some more of our salt right here. We have a total of two teaspoons of salt. Just take your knife, kind of on an angle, and just kind of mash it in a little bit. We want it to be, you know, some sort of paste. But nothing too much, because I'm using the food processor also. It's just easier, otherwise you are whisking when you uh, start whisking the yolks, you know? And uh, it's pretty much your day and your workout. So I'm just going to break this down just a little bit. Lost a piece here on my counter. Just like so. That should be pretty good. Ranger flying here. So now we're going to take this and we're going to put it right in the food processor. I'll turn you over to the food processor here in a second. All right. Up a little bit. Okay. So now we're going to take. Let me see over here. Here, I'll look at this. Do this. We're gonna take the rest of our salt. We're gonna throw that in there. We've got two eggs here. So we got two eggs. We are only going to use the yolks. One of those guys in there. A 
just like that. All right, so we've got two yolks going on. And now we're just going to pulse this. We just want to blend it together a little bit. Not getting crazy. Am I plugged in? Yeah. And we're just going to give her a pulse. here there we go beautiful all right so now that you get all that egg back in there now we are going to take our lemon juice and we're going to use two teaspoons of it find it somewhere in here there it is all right and we're gonna use a teaspoon and a half of our stone ground like I said you can use Dijon whatever got all that in there. Now we're going to put this on. Open up your drain, put it on low. All right, just to blend all that together. Now we're going to take our oil. We don't want it to separate, so we're just gonna add a little bit. And pulse it up. You'll see it starts to get the consistency of mayo. See what I'm saying? It's like a consistency of mayonnaise. So. All right, now we are going to take more lemon juice. 
We're gonna add another tablespoon and a half. We're gonna take our little jar here. We're gonna need some water in it. And our Parmesan. So we're gonna take our Parmesan and we are just going to grate it in there. We're gonna look for about, you know, I don't know, six tablespoons or so, something like that. That's probably pretty good. That was like a little extra in there. And if you're not a fan of Caesar, seriously, try making your own. And then make up your mind. Because it's different. All right, pulse this out. And now I'm going to put it on low. So we get that consistency of uh, dressing, you know? Now for a marinade, you can loosen it up a little bit more. And now, for my favorite part, let's make sure our seasoning's right. Look at that. Oh. Come on guys, good shit, good shit. Half the stuff you already have in your house, so. Look at that. Oh man, does that look good. Sign me up. Let's take this out of the way. And let's see if we need anything. See that? I think we got it. You know what? I think I'm just gonna put a little more lemon juice in there. Oh, let me grab my other one. Just add a little more of that citrus. Is this open? more in there. A little more lemon juice. It's pretty rich. All right. Now we should be pretty good. If you're making this for someone else, I suggest you use a different spoon. There we go. That's perfect. Oh man, that's good stuff, guys. Check it out. Homemade Caesar, man. So, now, let's get the wings out. Okay, so here I got some wings. I got them split, cut the tails, all that other good stuff. <clears throat> This is super easy, guys. <laughs> We're just gonna take our wings, bag them up. Oh, hold on one second. I see I missed a. That's a bone. All right. Get rid of that.
There we go. All right, so now we're just gonna take our bag here and add our Caesar we just made. I mean, you can use store-bought Caesar to do this, you know, but I just feel like uh, the homemade stuff is just so better, so much better. It's just vibrant and you can adjust the flavor so much, you know, between the citrus and I'm telling you, the stone ground mustard makes such a difference. And um, <clears throat> the fresh, just the fresh anchovies and it's just, it's just good, man. It really is. All right, so now I'm gonna give this air. Make sure everything gets coated in there, spread out nice and evenly. And now we'll bleed it out. Just like that. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna throw them in the fridge. It's probably gonna be a good four hours or so. And um, I'm going to uh, toss them on the grill. I am using the smoke fire today. Uh, I just finished uh, <coughs> assembling it, software updates, firmware updates, and uh, um, got it seasoned, burned off, all that other good stuff. So um, I know there's a lot of questions with regards to the smoke fire. Uh, I'm just waiting on a little bit of information so I can uh, speak truly to uh, everything that's going on. Um, it's, you know, nothing dramatic, nothing crazy, but um, it is pretty cool. Uh, so um, we're going to cook them on that today. So um, I'm just going to put them in the fridge. I'm just going to let them chill and uh, let them soak in that flavor. I'm not going to hit them with um, um, anything else. Once I pull them out, I'm not going to pat them, not going to rinse them, not going to wipe them. I want to leave that all on there. And then we're just going to hit them with just a, a light blend of just a little garlic, a little onion, uh, a little oregano, um, just to just to add a little, you know, herbiness to it. And um, uh, probably a little black pepper. And that's it. We're just going to dust them with that. And we're just going to toss them on the grill. So, all right, I'll be back. All right, guys, let's make some lunch. We got our wings. They've been soaking up some flavor. Got a little rub here that I mixed up. It's just a teaspoon of granulated garlic, teaspoon of granulated onion, uh, two teaspoons of cracked black pepper, the quarter crack like I use, a teaspoon of oregano, and a teaspoon of parsley. That's it. Just gonna add a nice little, um, you know, earthiness to it. Because the, uh, the Caesar is rich, so. Want to cut through it a little bit, best we can. Anyway. So, like I said, we're just gonna pull these right on out, just like so. We're gonna leave everything on there. You gotta remember, this is all oil based, so there's really nothing that can burn, you know, nothing like that. Everything in here can take that tent. We're gonna start them off pretty low anyway. We're gonna start them off at 250, just to, uh, you know, set that dressing that we have on there that we made and to um you know help render some of the fat down a little bit in the skin now being saturated like this they're not going to be super crispy but they're going to be nice bite through delicious so hey while we all love crispy chicken wings sometimes you just want that nice bite through too it's not a deal breaker Fridge is open, barking at me. I got a small pan here, so I'm just making some room. Here. Step this up a little bit. Mm-hmm. 
see if there's one more in here. Yep. We'll slide him in there. Oh man, there's even another hiding one. There, we'll stick you right there. Is that it now? For real? All right. All right, guys. So I'm going to keep my glove hand and we're just going to take our, our little rub mixture here and we're just giving it a dust. There's plenty of salt from the anchovies and the Parmesan and the salt that we put in. We don't need to add any more salt, believe me. Just like so. Just keep it honest. I'm trying to keep the uh, much sauce as I possibly can. So, you know, try to be kind of reasonable about uh, flipping them over and all that other good stuff. Manhandle them too badly. I've been known to do that. Like so. And if you can smell these things, seriously guys, holy crap. Glad I got them grill grates all seasoned up out there and that whole grill seasoned up because I'm about to seriously make a mess on it. But it's all going to be worth it. Just like that. All right. Oh, man. Nice little herby smell on there. I mean, you can use a chicken rub or whatever, but I would highly suggest something with no salt or extremely low salt. Because like I said, there is plenty of salt in the, in the game here. Might as well burn it up. All right. There we go. That's them. Our Caesar wings. Let's get them on the grill. Okay. So, I said, I got it rolling at, what do I have it set at? 250. <laughs> I couldn't remember if it was 250 or 225. So, I got it at 250, and we're just going to toss them on. I'm using uh, Weber's pellets today. That's all I got. They sent me some bags with the grill. So, so that's what we're using today. Let me... Uh, here, let me go grab my gloves. I forgot to take that top grade out. Okay, here we go. See that, uh, you know how the seasoning went? So everything's got that caramel color everywhere on it. Oh man, that's how you know you had, you had a good seasoning, man. Good break in. All right, throw some heat. Shields on here. And a nitro. Let's do this wings on it. Man, it's been a while. Not gonna lie, I did miss her. Hoping they got everything situated. I've heard some real good stuff about the software updates. Changes and all that good stuff. out a little bit there we go just like so all right so i'm gonna let these guys roll and uh i'm gonna let them go for i don't know maybe 30 minutes 25 30 minutes something like that and uh just like i said get that uh sauce all set around them get the uh fat rendered down a little bit in between that skin and the meat and then we're gonna crank them up to around 350 375 Grill those babies off and uh, 
enjoy some serious lunch. Check it out, guys. See how everything just set on there now? Oh, man, it's washing out. Hold on, let me get you in there. Look at that. Oh, man. It smells fantastic. All right, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to start playing some serious ball here. And I'm going to jack this guy up right to 350. Get her going. And uh, as it heats up, by the time it gets to 350, wings will probably be ready to, you know, spin over. So, and we'll give them a flip. Do the other side. Should be pretty good. So, but I know it's hard to tell on the camera, but they're nice and dried up. Everything is set real nice. Probably rendered real well. It's been about 30 minutes, 35 minutes actually. I've been running around doing stuff, but uh, let's get grilling. All right, check it out. I think we're about ready to do some flipping here. From the sounds of it anyway. Oh man, look at the thing starting to take on. Man, that sun is really washing everything out. Check this out, guys. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh man. Here, let me see if we get a better light over here. Nope. Just gonna give these a flip. so good so good hear all that chicken juice falling on them flavorizer bars yum oh man Woo! a little warm it's kicking here, let me grab my glove. I'm burning up. My hands are sensitive these past couple of days. Got so many burns on them. And just can't take it anymore. Getting old, guys. Getting old and wore down. All right, so I'm gonna let them roll a little bit longer and get that other side. Uh, that other side is down. That'll start taking it on and that top side will start firming up and just get them to finish, man. So you don't need to see me do it again. I'll probably come back. I might flip them again. I might rotate them. I don't know, it just depends, you know. See what the color looks like, see what they need. And uh, so next time we'll be pulling them off. All right, guys. Man, these things smell good, look good. Fly flying around here. Check them out. Oh, they smell so good. Meet this one right here. Let's see what we got. Wow. Fantastic. Look how juicy that is. Wow, so good. <laughs> I just keep sitting there eating them. Such a good wing. Such a good flavor. There's like a brininess and a saltiness. And you can't deny the flavor the smoke fire puts out. It's not charcoal, it's not wood. But um, it's just not your average belly grill. Like I've always said from day one, as long as that reliability is getting there. Um, but uh, man, it's a good way. So if you haven't tried it, give it a shot. You can do this with whole chicken. You can do this with anything. But on wings, this is the way to do it, man. So that's all I got. Later.